Hey, what's up? Uh, today I'm talking about premium pricing definition, what it's all about, um, and more importantly, how you can apply this in your own life, your side hustle, your business, uh, to make yourself even more money. Now, before I begin, down below, you'll notice there's a link. And if you click on that, there's actually training, special methods, and tools that can really improve your affiliate marketing income. Now, one of the companies I really admire is Apple. Apple, right? They charge these massive prices for these phones and other products that they make for dirt cheap. And there's a mar markup, which is huge. And people, you know, they go nuts, you know, spending money. And they're proud of the fact they're spending this money to buy this product and get overcharged. And they know it, they're proud of it. Uh, it's a luxury brand. It, it really is. It's something a lot more than just a phone. It, it's fascinating. It really is. You see, if you really think about it, it's like, wow. Um, now, have you ever noticed that it, 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 as a business, or just if you notice other businesses, you, you'll probably notice this. I definitely noticed this in the restaurant business. But if you try to compete on price, it's sort of a kind of a, a losing strategy. Um, someone always beats you on price, and you have to come back and undercut it, like a commodity. And then it's a race to the bottom, and it cuts out your profits. You do more work. It's a losing strategy, and this is why I'm not a big fan of drop shipping because, well. It's usually a race to the bottom. It's you find these products, you try to compete on price, and I'm not a huge fan of it. Now, affiliate marketing, I'm a lot more of a fan of affiliate marketing, especially when it comes to a side hustle, because whatever you're interested in in your niches, you could you could talk more about it, and you can make a little bit of money on the side with affiliate marketing. It's much easier. There's you know all the customer service, the shipping, you know someone else deals with that. All you gotta do is give the invitation. Uh, now here's the thing, and I think you probably know this deep, deep down inside your gut, is you're not gonna make a lot of money with affiliate marketing selling $20 products from ClickBank, you know, or $40 products or 50 or whatever. The really, one of the easiest ways to make money with affiliate marketing and really make it is to sell the high ticket price items. You know the thousand dollar items because let's face it if you sell one thousand dollar item or you can sell ten a hundred priced items which one do you think is going to be easier yeah there's going to be some resistance people sure people are hesitant about spending the hard-earned money but i don't know let me know if you disagree with me on this but people they're no matter what they're spending ten dollars or a hundred dollars they're going to be hesitant about spending the, the same money. I mean, they're gonna be cheap about ten dollars. Just like someone's gonna be cheap about spending a hundred bucks. The same thing. Plus, you might you might know what I'm talking about with this, but cheap customers. And I have a family member who's like insanely cheap. They're kind of a pain in the ass to deal with. Like insanely. I did. I worked at some. I used to work at a lot of restaurants, and I did low end and high end. The funny thing I always found out was like the high end customers never complained about, but but you get like cheapy, <laughs> they complain, they complain about every damn thing there is. <laughs> yeah, there's there's definitely truth to that. There's, so yeah, yeah they, okay. The reality is, I'm not sure if you're gonna agree with me on this, but I think there's a lot of truth to it is that people will do whatever it takes for what they want, okay? It's not about the price. If they want something bad enough, they're gonna get it. They'll, they'll do whatever it takes. I mean, look at, look at your own career ambitions and stuff, or look at love, look at drugs, shit. Aren't they the same thing? Yeah. Well, look, we all have fears, but deep down, if we really want something, we can make it happen. You know, there's crazy stories about women like picking up cars to save their kids and stuff. But if your butt's on the line, you're going to make some stuff happen. Um, plus, I think there's some truth to this too, but there's a certain segment of the population. If, if something is too cheap, they're like, uh, it's like their ego is attached to it. And that's the whole thing with the tipping thing too. You don't want me to seem like the guy that tips fast. Like a whole, the whole thing is... I think built on ego. Is that true for tipping? 
I was just thinking about that earlier. It's like, it makes a lot of sense. Um, now, there's this really good book in marketing. It's from Jack Trout called Differentiate or Die. There's another book saying, like, like, when you zig, I zag. It's like, be different. Being different is really, really good at marketing. Uh, it helps you stand out. And this reminds me of the story of Duckhorn, the famous wine out in Napa Valley. I believe it was the first Merlot introduced to uh, Napa Valley. But it's a very fascinating story where the owner, what he did was he actually overpriced his wine to stand out. And people were like, why is it so expensive? And it got interest. And people bought it. And that was his whole stretch. <laughs> Funny, isn't it? It's fascinating. So I know what you might be thinking. I used to think this way too. And that is, God, man, I just, I just feel weird and uncomfortable charging high prices and asking for a lot of money. Nobody likes to, I mean, do you like to ask for money? More kids, we like to ask for stuff. But when we get older, like, I don't want to ask for nothing. I don't need nobody help. And you, 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 see, you, see, you see what I'm saying going with this, right? It's like, you know, get hesitant about asking for all, a lot of money. It's one thing to ask for 20 bucks, but not like $1,000 or something. It's like, whoa. Now, this one may be one of the best tricks in marketing when it comes to premium pricing, how to get it, the definition, how to improve your own in your business, in your life. And deep down, you already know what I'm going to say about this. It's a great trick. I'm going to give you a story to back this up when I was in high school. I was a nerd, but I remember this other nerd. He, you know, he wasn't like, you know, the, the popular table, all the cool kids hang out. I was like a floater. I hung around different tables. And he was like a, he wasn't really in the, in the popular table. He was on some other table. And then he, he got met this girl and he started hanging out. She was hot. And then he got into the popular table because the association, right? Power of association, which is valuable. It's the same thing why we like sports so much. We're, we want to feel like winners. We're associated with people. So what I'm getting at is if I had this video right now, I had some celebrity right next to me or whatever, then it would just boost up my celebrity status. I don't have one, unfortunately. <laughs> I wish I did. I'd be so great for this video, but that's what I'm trying to get at. And that's the same thing when you, when you, even Warren Buffett, he calls this Ryan Sloan's coattail. And he followed Ben Graham's method. He was a follower. He you know, associated with people and everything. It's the same reason why Ty Lopez, he's another person you've probably seen him, right? The big mansion here in my garage with my Lamborghini. That's why he does that. It's the association. But he has hot women in his videos and everything, right? So that's one of the great tricks on, well, helping helping somebody when they charge for higher prices. You know, if you're with something that's established, hot, and that's a trick. It's the power of association, like influencer marketing. And um, if you want to get more deeper into this, uh, I highly encourage you. You know what I'm gonna say? Yeah, I can't go through this whole video about all this stuff, but. That link below is really, really good. Um, the reason I'm passionate about it is because I stumbled and wasted a lot of time in affiliate marketing because I was doing the wrong stuff. And I don't want to see you do that. And if you get the right information, it it's, saves you so much time. Okay, and that's very valuable. Okay, so if you're interested in affiliate marketing, making more money, or charging higher prices for your products, you know, understanding that, uh, click that link below. Okay. I hope this video brought you some value or if you're just audio, if you listen to a podcast, if you did, please hit the thumbs up button. I appreciate that a lot. And uh, hey, I wish you the best, okay? Have a very awesome rest of your day. Take care.